good Thursday afternoon and welcome back. I'm issuing a sunglasses alert for that evening commute. That sun bouncing off of the bright snow makes things very bright as you're headed home on this Thursday afternoon. Nine degrees right now in Fargo. So not warming up any despite that sunshine feels like one degree above zero. Wind is light out of the west southwest at five miles per hour. Meanwhile, Grand Forks seeing mostly sunny sky as well. Nine degrees, very light south southeasterly breeze at three miles per hour. Temperatures are in the single digits right through the heart of the Red River Valley. We're at seven in Hallock, nine in Fergus Falls, a little warmer down to the south and off to the east. 16 in Bemidji, 18 in Wadena, 21 in Sisseton and in Aberdeen, South. South Dakota. However, just like the last few days feel like a broken record here, but fog is leading to areas of reduced visibility. Visibility is at four miles in Fergus Falls, uh, lesser in northern Minnesota, three miles in Thief River Falls, uh, just shy of a mile visibility in Roseau at this time. We're much quieter after that system is now exiting. That brought us substantial cloud cover the last few days. That's now impacting Green Bay, Chicago, all the way out into parts of the East Coast as well. But here at home, all the weather worry we have is how bright that sunshine is. We do have a few clouds uh, just off to the west of the Devil's Lake Basin. Will we need to worry about those clouds? Here's your hour by hour forecast. We will see a few of those clouds drifting into uh, especially the Northern Valley and redeveloping fog yet again is a concern for tonight. Mostly clear skies really depends on where the cloud cover sets up, but anywhere we have clear skies, we're looking at cold temperatures overnight. In fact, single digits below zero for most. Some areas, models that are hinting at some low teens below zero by tomorrow morning. We do have fresh snow in our southeasternmost counties, so there's potential for colder temperatures than what this model is uh, looking at. But for our day tomorrow, looking at another mostly sunny day, so sunglasses alert for your Friday. And temperatures will be fairly slow to warm for most of us. We'll be warmer to the east with some 20s in areas like Baudette down through Wadena. Single digits across eastern North Dakota will be cooler throughout North Dakota because high pressure, cool high pressure, will be settling in and getting a little bit cozy. With clear skies tomorrow night and that high pressure looking to be another cold night with single digits below zero. Here's what your day looks like tomorrow in Fargo. A cold start, mostly sunny for the afternoon. Temperature only in the low teens yet again, uh, but we're going to have light winds out of the northwest, primarily in the single digits. Temperatures for your 3 p.m. time frame on your Friday, 13 in Fargo, 12 in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls. Again, cooler off to the uh, west, 9 in Devil's Lake, 8 in Valley City. Showed you that weekend forecast for Frisco, but Maybe you're staying home. Here's what it looks like. 16 by Saturday, mostly sunny skies, a little bit of a breeze out of the south. But that southerly breeze helps to bring in a little bit warmer air as we head into Sunday. It also brings a bit more cloud cover. Lack of cloud cover here. Look at that. What an eye, Tom. Thank you so much for sharing your photo to valleynewslive.com. All right, here's your forecast beyond the weekend. We continue that warming trend, still monitoring a potential for some light snow Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, right now, nothing to be too concerned about. But things just keep on going up, right, Summer? They really do, yeah. Yep. 22, 20, 23, 24. I'm expecting a 30 very soon, though. I will tell you that. I sure hope I, I've so, been talking you know? to you about it. I'm, I have a feeling one's going to come pretty, pretty soon. Summer, thank you so much.